live on BC. This is Spirit Cars. Corey yes. from, what are you, Corey's married now. I know. Say hi, hi little woman. Hello. Hey, Sam. <laughs> love you. Love you. Love you. Hi, Ann. If you're watching, love you too. So, after you vote over 50, 40 something years, it still works. So, congratulations. <laughs> you're you. married. You're a pinch Shut shepherd it. dude. Mm -hmm. You used to actually work here answering yeah. the phones, but now you just like, you're a one shot guy. Yeah. I do your job now. <laughs> He's a, he's a pinhead, and I, yeah. I think you're officially a pinhead. I think you've, you've made it to, to the quality of acceptable. Okay. In there. Here you are. I think so. You're going to be doing Dr. I's cars. Yes. And we're going to match these colors? Yep. Here's I'm a tan color. But today's going to be, uh, the theme is how to make it your hot rod. I mean, a lot of 32 to 32, mm -hmm. of t bucks to t buck at a 20, but then you can change it an awful lot. So here's Rodney's car. We've been working on Rodney's car. This is Rodney's idea. Come around this way. When Rodney first told me and Eddie that he wanted a sliding glass in his fiberglass hardtop, I was just like, oh no. But he had some ideas of how it would work, and he seen the vision better than I did in the beginning. <laughs> but we finally figured it out, and we got this all set up. So this is uh, Rodney's, Rodney's sliding back glass. And uh, what we're going to do, we've got it placed in here. Can you see all this? Mm -hmm. You can see it pretty good. So we're going to use the aluminum channel, which we made. We cut around. It's got a, a fuzzy up in there. It's, it fits really nice. We're going to cut it in the opening around here. But when you go all the way down, you can kind of see it's going to be rounded. So from the outside, it'll look like, oh, yeah, that's a back glass. Instead of just like a side glass, it's square on the bottom. And the way we're going to pull it up, well, I'm hooked onto the part over here. We've got this strap down here. You can see all that, too. Man, it just don't look like it from that angle. Well, Stephanie was sick. It was, are you contagious? No, wave, I'm, wave, I'm probably. Wave to him. See that? It's, I, I think it's contagious. Is. She's purple. She's, she's turned, it's blue. Her face is purple. Her, her entire body is purple. It's crazy. It's the, isn't there a song, Purple People Eater? <laughs> look out. That's what Eddie called me. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull the window up with the, um, the strap here. And when the interior panel's in, you can kind of see where the window's going to be through the line there. Okay, so the interior piece will come around, cover all that, and there'll be a snap on here, and it will just snap down. So that will hold your window up, so the vibration won't let it go down. And then when you want to put the window down, you're going to have to push it down a little bit. But then this will go down just to about that level right there. I need to make sure that the snap won't let it go down past that. We'll have window fuzzies on this, window fuzzies on that. Actually, a really good idea, Rodney. I hope you don't mind. We may actually, now that we're showing it, it is doable. A hard top is really a lot nicer in the sense that you don't get any vibration with the soft top. But uh, soft top is nice, is nice too, and, and the shape of this one is kind of like, like a soft top. It's like, got the bows in it, only it don't. So, uh, this one gets painted on the outside and upholstered on the inside. So let's go show some graphic stuff. And Rodney's waiting to see graphics on here, so you have to let us know what you think. That yeah, works. Okay, we're looking for the ghost planes, and now you see it, now you don't. You see them pretty good here. If you can kind of see the orange car, you barely faintly see them. Kind of there, depending on how you put the color on them. It's kind of in a dark shade here, so it's, it's not going to pop like it would in the sunlight, but we think. I like it. You like it? I like it too. I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's just like not too bold, but it's there. Mm -hmm. You can see it, but you can't. And when the sun gets that right, it's going to be a lot of pearls in there. So get, kind of get around for Rodney so you can see that. This one's for you, Rodney. <laughs> We'll be, we'll be putting that on the car and assembling probably Because Bob doesn't know how to use weekend, the phone. Yeah. Okay, so let's get over. Oh, let's, let's give old Larry Blue Moon a shot. Ooh. The Blue Moon gets a shot today, too. Haven't bolted it on yet, but oh. if you want to make the car yours, give it a name. And it's the Blue Moon. It's pretty cool. We like the graphic. Michelangelo did this one. So this, and we had to custom make this piece uh, to fit in here. Um, 
you can kind of see it's all beveled up in here and it's, it's already got the bolt holes. It's obviously been fitted and, and worked. So all we got to do is put that baby up in there, bolt it together, and the blue moon has got a face now and a name. <laughs> I don't know about the green car. It's got flames and it's got a chassis needs to be built. I got a motor and trans here. I don't know if it has a name, but we're working on Dr. Ives' car. Oh, and since the theme is uh, how to make it your own, mm -hmm. what are some of the ways you would make the car your own? Oh, Give me okay. three ways, quick. On my, my car? Any car. Oh, man. Um, yeah, on your car. How would you make your car your own? You got a, you got a Spirit 27. Yeah, and then I shorten the frame. You shorten the frame? Yeah, I shorten the, the wheelbase, make it look more kind of like a 50s. All right, style. well, Rodney, we extended yeah. <laughs> Rodney's is a, I did a whole bunch of stuff on mine. <laughs> but typically wheels, tires, you can do paint. Okay, wheels, interior, tires. All that stuff. Paint? Yeah. Pinstriping? Pinstriping. Definitely make it your own. Steering wheel. Accessories. Like a steering wheel. Yeah, I got it. How much you can change a car just in a steering wheel? Okay, so what we're using, it's kind of a flame style. This is kind of a two-piece thing. And then we've got one right over here. Totally, totally different. I like those ones. You would like this one better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would. You're old school kind of guy. <laughs> so anyway, different look. They've got the caps on it. I'm assuming this cap, I wouldn't be surprised in the least that it's got flames on the cap. I'm not sure. It does not, but we can uh, we can do laser etching. Mm -hmm. We're going to do laser etching on the Black Knight car, and you can do actually three dimensional. And with the way the laser hits and the, the different panels or the different frequencies, you can oh, change wow. the colors of it. It's wow. incredible. That's awesome. We're doing about uh, thirty or forty pieces on the Black Knight, so I'm, I'm sure we're going to want some old school striping. Oh on yeah, too. for sure. Anyway, you've talked to Doctor I. Yep, I've talked to Doctor I. Doctor I. I guess he trusts me enough to trust you, and I he trusts so. you now. <laughs> Here, he said, just do it. Make it look good. So we're going to make Dr. Ives look good. And what we're going to do is kind of go with the interior mm -hmm. colors. That's an interior panel. So here's snapping. his interior color he wanted. Um, so we're doing just a one color pinstriping on this car. Because uh, it doesn't, with all the accessories, you don't need too much pinstriping. So I mixed up some uh, one-shot paint. I think you can kind of see it there. Uh, it's uh, yellow, brown, and white to kind of get this tan color. So it should be pretty close. And so we're going to do a little bit of pinstriping on the deck lid, and then a little bit on each side behind the doors, and then maybe some more elsewhere. We'll see. Uh, about around the, around the around the tail lights, that'll look real good. So my go-to is a king uh, pinstriping brush. Just, a, just a, a slash or two on the. Yeah, we'll put a little bit up on the front. I'm in. Nothing too much, just enough to kind of accentuate the car. Okay, so I should leave you alone and do it? Yeah. Okay, you're <laughs> alone. You're doing it. It works. He's a married man now. <laughs> so, got to load up the brush here. I believe I'll go eat lunch at lunchtime. I may watch you live. That works. Anybody got any ideas? I'll be watching live, so let me know what's going on with the comments. <laughs> I mean, you can see live if I mess it up, right? Well, I'll, be, yeah. I'll know when you're done with a two-minute yeah. delay. So how'd you get into doing this? Uh, I grew up in California. And uh, all my dad's buddies were all hot rodders, and a lot of them used to pinstripe and all that stuff, so I kind of warned out there. So... Uh, which my style, I always start off with this kind of teardrop in the middle, and that comes from uh, the guy that I, like when I was learning, I would study the old pinstripers, and Tommy the Greek was always the guy that used to always have uh, little teardrops like this. So, I don't want to put too much striping on here, just enough to kind of add a little bit of detail to the car but without taking away from everything else
just a little bit there and then one thing I always add is a little kind of a loop so that's what we'll do right now circle here. This is one thing I usually do on most of my pin sharpening designs. That old circle there. So now with this being uh, like the deck wood on the back of the car, um, I want to kind of make put some lines that kind of come out towards the top here to kind of fill that in. So we'll see what we can do that makes it look nice. Once again, nothing too crazy, just enough to give it a little bit of detail on the back here. Okay. We need some more color here. I'm having to do the color on the comments. Do what? We need more color. I'm having to do color for you on the comments. Oh, there we go. Somebody wants to know what brush that is. That is, this is a King uh, pen sharpening brush. I use King and I use Mac. And um, I really like the Kings. They're really nice. The Mac isn't bad. I mean, they've been around forever, but King I, I really enjoy using. So this is the hard part, trying to get everything symmetrical here. What's the difference in the brushes? Um, a lot of the difference is uh, just the size of the brush. Uh, actually, look at that, I already messed that one up, so we'll redo this one. Uh, the size of the brush, and then um, the type of material that they use. The Some of them use like a natural hair, and then some use a, a more synthetic blend, which is what the king is. Are you using a spray can lid for yeah <laughs> for water? There we go. That looks a little better. <clears throat> How long have you done this for? Um, off and on for a really long time. It wasn't till about the past like five years or so that I really took this so serious. Okay, we're all wondering how long until you tell us what size brush it is. Oh, this is a Hanson, so it's a King, Hanson, a King 13, but it's a Hanson 1, 2, 3, 5 zeros. So, 5 aught brush. Very small, I like the smaller ones better. I like nice small lines. I'm the same way when I'm painting. Yeah. Here's the hard part. I always mess these up. Hopefully not today. Right. There we go. Just something like that. Just like I said, enough to add a little bit of. Uh, Pizzazz to the back of the car, but nothing too much to take away from the rest of it. So let me add a little bit here to tie all this stuff in and kind of finish it off. Uh, let's see.
come back in, I always put a, little, a few lines across these little teardrops. I don't know if you can kind of see that there. I always kind of incorporate those in somewhere else. That's just kind of my thing. Um, let's see what else I want to do here. Is this all just off the top of your head? Yeah. It's impressive. And I usually, you can kind of see, I'm going to start off, I put a couple lines down um, with a Stabilo pencil, just to kind of keep me from going too uh, off the middle of the car. But most of it's just kind of freehand and looking, like I kind of just measure with my fingers, make sure everything looks uh, pretty symmetrical. So I think that's about all I really want to do for the back. Um, it's not broken. <laughs> like I said, nothing too much, uh, just enough to give a little bit of detail on the back of the car. Um, and then with that tan color, when it dries, it should match the interior pretty well. So now we'll do just a little bit on the side of the car. Um, the owner said he wanted a little bit by the door, so I'm going to do just a little bit right behind the, the door on the body. Oh, my favorite scratch, uh, Von Hot. You know scratch? Do what? You know scratch? I met him a couple times. He's my favorite. He's the one that I always put these little circles in. That's where I got that from. Okay, off the top of his head. Okay. Uh, so scratch, uh, I like Von Hot Rod. Obviously Von Dutch. Um, obviously. Well, yeah, Von obviously. Dutch. He's the flying <laughs> eyeball. It's like it came. From uh, Tommy the Greek. And who else do I really like? That's only four. Me. And you. <laughs> Corey, <laughs> of course. No. Corey, you get. Okay. Now here, here. The legends of pinstriping. They used to tour. Oh, Tom Kelly. He was okay, Tom movie. Kelly. I, I got this thing on my wall. And uh, this was a panel jam. You ever been to a panel jam? I've uh, seen one, but I've never uh, You've never been invited to the top legends of pinstriping panel jam? I think they're jam? missing out. I think they need me. Well, soon, soon. You're, I mean, you're there. So what, what it is, everybody, what is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight artists. It looks like nine artists here. Pinheads. Mm hmm And they, uh, have you, we seen this or we watching mm -hmm. it? Okay, yeah, sure. see this? This is weird with that camera with that phone. You don't know where the camera's in. <laughs> so what happens, everybody gets a panel, mm -hmm. different color panels, and they get, whatever, two, three minutes. Here, you got two, three minutes to do something. And one guy, obviously, had orange, did something. Next guy had green and blue, and and it keeps passing around, so everybody gets to do something mm -hmm. on the panel. The Egyptian, you know the Egyptian? I've heard of him. Little Toot. I like, I yeah. love Little Toot. Uh, his dad was awesome, Big Toot. Toot. Um, he died several years ago. Um, Myers. Oh, Ron Myers from Oklahoma? Yeah. yeah. yeah he's uh, fantastic. He's cool. Yeah. And uh, Blano. Mm hmm. Gosh, there's so many and of this, them. You know, you know whose signature that would be? Just one second here. Just one second. Oh, I, uh, no. I've seen it. Okay. That, he, with his, with his side of his, he did them in here. That's Kelly. Oh, okay. Tom Kelly? Tom Kelly. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. He is awesome. He's great. So there's... Another legend. Another legend. They're, they're legends. So this is a panel jam. It's kind of a prize for me because I was, I got to hang out with these guys and, mm -hmm. and do, and, um, I did this last time you were here. Yeah. So I'm going to show this. He was doing his thing. Now this... You, you can say this is off the top of my head because mm -hmm. there's nothing you've seen here. Like, <laughs> this is like weird. This is, yeah. B, this is BC stuff, right? <laughs> On the cave wall. <laughs> and I even, and like I said, I'd, I'd cut myself during the day there. Mm -hmm. So I didn't just sign my name there. I did put some DNA on this. So we, we've actually got some DNA on this one. So 
love it. But you, you are doing, you are excellent. Thank you. Excellent this quality. I would not even attempt to do pinstriping. <laughs> I would not even attempt to do pinstriping in your presence. You know, so I would. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm happy. I, he'll be happy, I'm cool. sure. That, yeah, I like that. Nice that's, and simple. That's good the way that is. That's what I, I really like, the simple stuff. A lot of guys, they just go overkill on their uh, uh, pinstriping. And like, if you have like a, you know, 63 and Powell with hydraulics that's from like East LA, I think you can get away with it. And a lot of know? brush work too. Oh, yeah, yeah, fantastic. But just a typical hot rod, I like just one, sometimes two colors, just nice and simple. The books, the books. Where's the books? They were here. Oh no, are we going to go without the books today? Let me get to the outside real quick. You got a good saying? They were, they were like right there, just a second ago. Huh? They were right there, just a second ago. I'm going to take one off of them. We'll give you one more, one more minute of watching here. Right. And if I can find the books, we'll get it. Oh, hurry. Always manages to lose them. <laughs> so now I'm trying to remember what I did on the other side so I can match it over here. We'll see how that goes. This is just uh, this is my mineral spirits. That's what I use to thin the paint out a little bit. Uh, especially on a day like today, it's very muggy in here. Oh, yeah. So. Always. You walk in and you sweat. Mm hmm I think it was something like that. Alright, can't find the books. But here's the quote. My daughter did these and they're on my desk. And I kind of rifled through them once in a while. They've been there so long they're actually coming unglued. But she did did these uh, and then she always she put something on the back of them too, so. Oh, do I want to do this one? Man, do I want to do this one? I like that one. That's a good one. I don't like that one. You don't like that one? I'm the kind of guy you can one. either you either love me or you hate me. <laughs> I, I got one of them personalities. So and uh, all right. So here's what my daughter put: Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Obviously, that's a Matthew five four and four. And on the back, she always puts something, which is oh wow. That's easier said than done. Mm, so true. for today, I guess we got to play nice. And I guess I worked that. Here, let's, let's do two. This, this is a good day. Ask and will be given you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. And that's Matthew 7, 7. And on the back of this, she puts, this is one of the most important things I've, I have learned from you and Dad. Pray and believe. He is faithful. Okay, so that's my daughter's quote on the quote. That's today. It's the end of the week. It's Friday. I'll be working uh, this weekend. This one's going home next week. This one's going home at the end of next week. I'm going to really put some serious effort on Larry's car, get it going. Um, a lot getting done. we got new projects to get started. we got Rodney's car starting to get assembled here. So I think he's coming at the end of the month to pick his first of next month to get it. So we will see you Monday.